Hey guys, Justin here from uh, Pool Solar Heating. So we've got a couple of installs here behind me. So we've got a, um, a Hybrid system on a split roof. So this system here is uh, oversized. It's probably 250% surface area. So the difference between um, heating the pool with pool solar and then a, using an appliance or a heat pump is the output of the pool solar system. So this um, current system at 250% is sitting somewhere around uh, with sun probably outputting between 40 and 50 kilowatts of uh, output equivalent. The COP on this is probably sitting in at around or above 35, right? So we've got a really great COP. We've got um, some really great sun here. It's just hammering down on this roof. We're in the second to last week or last week of July here. And this roof is currently sitting on about 35 degrees. And the pool is on 10 degrees so we've you know we've definitely seen some heat in the pool already on startup yesterday we're at another pool around the corner it was sitting on 17 and a half degrees at 11 in the morning so when we talk about how do we heat a pool efficiently it's um it's a solution which includes thermal blanket which is imperative to the heating solution especially if you're using a heat pump we do have a heat pump on the system here as well um, but the primary heat source will be driven from the solar system uh, this is able to do you know the 10 degree lifts 15 degree lifts throughout the day uh, on on a sunny day um, and even if we're achieving uh, lower temperatures than that we can use the heat pump to keep the temperature high so there is this misconception that solar doesn't work so again we're in the uh, last week of July and we're pumping out some great temperatures um, when it, we wouldn't even think about turning a heat pump on as it's incredibly inefficient um, heat pumps typically will have a COP in and around the you know five to six range up to sort of maybe mid teens at best but uh, with cold air temp which is currently what we've got so we've got a really cold air temp sitting in around maybe the 15 14 or 15 degree range um, this is coastal but again the roof sitting on 35 degrees right and uh, last week we were um, seeing 40 degree temperatures on the roofs so uh, pool heating primary heat source pull solar then cover it and then think about adding an appliance and if we're if we're looking at pull solar cost to install versus a heat pump cost to install solar heating is always cheaper um, when we're looking like for like so like for like output um, in this case we're looking at a you know 40 to 50 kilowatt system put that into um, you know dollar value for a heat pump we're talking sort of maybe in around that $35,000 mark so a heat, a heat pump for the same output as solar is very different but even if someone you know put if we put a 28 kilowatt or a 30 kilowatt heat pump on this pool we're still talking like between 12 and 15 or 16 thousand dollars depending on the heat pump what quality is it a dual fan um, and is it an inverter so when we're when we're looking at sizing the heater, um, you know, always making sure that we're oversizing where we can and certainly don't want to undersize. With solar, we definitely want to uh, double the surface area minimum. And if we can go three times, we also want to do that. Um, and you can see in behind me, uh, just down over here, we've got another system on this roof over here. And then just over behind me, um, we've got another one, uh, which is just over here. And oh, actually, I mean, we're, we've got them riddled throughout this uh, neighborhood here, but the primary uh, source, again, is driven from solar. And then you look at topping it up with um, heat pump. Uh, frequently asked quick questions is, um, does solar work on a cloudy day? And it certainly does work on a cloudy day. So what we have here is we have radiant heat coming from the tin, which is that the sun will hit the tin, the sun will also hit the collector. And then we have um, direct sunlight. So we have radiant heat from the, from the tin direct sunlight and UV um, and also the ambient air temp plays a major role in uh, pool heating so when we see anything from that northeast quadrant very warm air or easterly winds very warm air so the ambient air temp is quite warm that also has an effect on the pool it'll also increase the uh, pool temp naturally but uh, but subsequently anything from that south southwest um, will kill the temperature speed of heat um, certainly this is the number two um, speed of heat throughout the day and the, the bigger we make the system the better it is so one to one, one, to one ratio um, solar performance is excellent 
doubling the surface area is even better and tripling the surface area up on the roof is even better right so we add these layers of efficiency and um you know where a heat pump will take sort of maybe like three three to four days running 24 hours um solar can do in one day um obviously it's not as good as gas but gas is, is certainly a different way to heat the pool um it it's certainly faster cost a lot of money uh to run but um yeah it's probably a little bit a little bit offensive the um yeah so cost to run pool solar so this system here is probably going to run uh run maybe august we're going to run this august probably through till may uh this does have, have a formal thermal blanket and we expect probably in the range of about 450 that's at 28 cents um, a kilowatt and if we're running a pool heat pump um we'll be looking probably around that uh for the same season maybe five to six grand but typically you'll decide to turn the heater on or off if we're you know if we're running a heat pump appliance so it's going to be averaging in and around four and a half to five k um, for us for a full season swim season that would be september or uh, labor weekend through to um, easter or may uh, so you know cost to run let's call it you know let's be kind and we'll say four four thousand uh, dollars to run a heat pump probably six thousand dollars to run a gas heater and probably around that 450 to 500 hundred dollar mark to run the the solar system so solar cost to run is probably around that 10 percent mark of um of heat pump and sitting probably even um lower than that around the five percent mark versus uh gas heating and again coming back to cost to install so the more we put the more solar we put up on the roof obviously the more it costs but in relation to um doubling the surface area on a 32 square meter pool so let's say we put anywhere from 60 to 90 square meters of solar up on the roof you know we're still coming in well under uh, the cost of a 28 or 30 kilowatt heat pump in around that sort of you know 12 to 15k mark so solar is cheaper to install cheaper to run we sort of get better speed of heat um, great performance longer season um, and it's not that we uh, don't install other other appliances we certainly do install other appliances and we love the um you know that full 360 view of like a pool heating solution where we've got solar uh, we've got lots of it we've got a heat pump to sort of um, stop the temperature bottoming out overnight throughout the shoulder seasons and then um, the heat pump sorry the blanket um, alongside the heat pump and also the roller system so we're looking at the whole the whole package and we manufacture and install all of our own products so we're not subcontracting out so our views vary like impartial and we focus on the solution and then build the um you know we build the package backwards custom to every house i mean you look at the solar system um behind me so we've got you know this one panel through the back another through the the bottom here um you know a lot of plumbing a few days uh, up here installing that but you know that's the with again focusing on the outcome we've come up with a solution and then we see the numbers um, driven uh, throughout the year. So this system is installed in the last week of July. We'll put up some um, performances throughout the season. This is uh, this is Fantail Crescent, so we'll we'll see the performance. And we'll, you know, let's see exactly what happens um, throughout the year. That way, we're giving you some very impartial feedback, um, although it's uh, professional opinion, and we do know what performance to expect throughout the year so typically if we sort of give you a um, solution and we give you some numbers we certainly stick by those however we did have a um, uh, the weather in March this year 2024 was the coldest March in history so we had quite a lot of our heat pump customers turning the heat pumps off winterizing the pool in March um, we did have solar customers which were still running their um, their solar systems but complaining because the pools are only around that 28 mark uh, which is still incredible so you know we are driven by weather the weather is changing and again we are in July and we've got these stunning days so you know we've got this epic day we had 40 degrees last week um, we're sitting on around that sort of 35 at the moment and um, you know we're only looking at getting better through the season so I would love to hear your feedback um, drop some comments uh, below there's a few links in the description which will um, help guide you on uh, some pointers that we think uh, will help you heat your pool but i think in this time you know when we're looking at the cost of living crisis and reducing cost of running um, the household we can easily remove you know anywhere between that three and a half to four and a half thousand dollars of cost to run uh, pool heater 
would probably see a payback within that, certainly within that two and a half to three year mark on the solar system and five years on a payback, uh, including uh, heat pump, 